Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Let's head on back to Snowhead and see if we can find that temple around there somewhere. We've done everything we can around here with the Goron Mask, so now let's take a look around. Now, whenever you warp to an owl statue, there's usually going to be some, like, snowballs or pots or grass or whatever you have in the vicinity that can restore or well help you recover your consumable items like arrows bombs things like that after playing the song of time but let's see okay yeah that's the only path we haven't taken around here so let's head on over there then oh and i'm gonna need to get some other items coming up here let's see what we got see we got plenty of arrows now and fairy's mask there okay now up ahead here where is it ah there you are Whoop. ha ha gotcha first try let's see okay well fortunately now we can perform the goron jump there so let's give it a try but yeah that uh enemy i killed there that was an ice keys and if it touches you it will turn you into a block of ice for a little while now what i like to do when performing ramp jumps I like to hold the A button before I start moving forward, so that way I kind of skid in place there, and it gives me time to sort of rev up to full speed there. Careful. Let's see, I think we're good here. Now let's see. There is one other thing I want to point out over here. Oh yeah, there's a sign. I forgot about that. Ah, there we go. Oh, what temple guards? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Oh, way over there, there's a... Uh, what is it? A piece of heart. But I don't think we can get it right now. So let's just save that for later and continue onward. I was about to say, did I play the inverted Song of Time? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through all this in time. But where did that come from? Was it like an ice cannon or something mounted on the thing? Well, first, let's uh, activate the owl statue here. No, I don't think we need that. But let's see. If you try going forward... What do you mean? Hmm. Well, suffice to say, you need to do something about that wind blowing towards you. So let's see. Let's get that going. And... Oh, no, not that. Haha, -ha, there it is. A really big Goron. So, what we need to do is play the. Uh, what is it? Oop. Yeah, we gotta play the Goron Lullaby to get through here. Just like the Sonata of Awakening that we used for the previous dungeon. And speaking of which, uh, that heart piece that I got with the four gossip stones that you played the Song of Awakening for, you can use the Goron Lullaby for that too if you wanted, but I've already done it this way. Well, that doesn't help us at all. We gotta get him out of the way. Oh. And he died. But all right, so now, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, yeah, don't fall off the edge there you want to be oh <laughs> didn't mean to punch the sign there but okay do we got more arrows yes we do okay now we're fully stacked let's move on ahead here so let's see just keep on be, be careful to stay on the path without falling over and then okay go on up here oh you know what i could go over here there's something over here that i want to show almost forgot about that Let's see, if we go all the way around here, let's see, we got the local fairies fountain, just like the one in Woodfall there. They are missing a whole bunch of fairies, we gotta find 15 of them in order to bring the great fairy back here and get a reward. So, alright, oh, well, thanks for the recharge after using all of my, well, not all of my magic, but... A lot of my magic on the Goron rolling there. Now, the big snowballs around here also have uh, magic jars in them, so you can restore your magic pretty easily and quickly. 
Let's see. I don't want to do this for too long. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now I'll go on the bunny hood. You could use the Goron roll to get all the way to the entrance of the temple there. But I don't want to risk falling off here, so I'm just going to baby the strat here. And my shield didn't help me much there. That's okay. Oh, yeah, that cage there, that fence, that's not there in the Nintendo 64 version of the game. So if you were using your go-on roll, you might accidentally go the wrong way, or fall off. Whoa! Did I? No, I was about to say, did I get all of them? No, not all of them. Oh, well. Maybe if it were the Nintendo 64 version and I had... The spin attack, the big one, maybe that would have been good enough, but no, no. But yeah, we got a quill statue here at the start, just like the the temp or what is it? Woodfall temple there. And yeah, we need Goron Mask to get through here. And then Wolfos. Whoa. Getting a little rambunctious there. Any any hearts? No? No, I guess not. Oh, there's one. Hey, hey, all right. Okay, now this room is a little different in the 3DS version of the game. As far as finding the stray fairies, there's two of them around here. So, let's see. Okay, down there. Ha-ha. There you go. And, yeah, Great Fairies Mask. Get those two Stray Fairies up here. Uh, if you fall down off the bridge, yeah, you'll have to climb the ladder here to get back up. But there's nothing of interest down there, so don't worry about it. Just, uh, let's see, go right here, I think. Then rev up there. Hurry up. Okay, we're good, we're good. And let's climb these stairs first. Even though it is a bit of a dead end, there's some things we can get here. Starting with a stray fairy right over there. And then, let's see, go around here. Well, yeah, watch out for the Freezard there. And collect some treasure. Ah! I, I better take that mask off, but at least we got the map for our efforts. There are some other things we can do in this room, just not right now. We need to get the key item of the dungeon. Speaking of which, I will be making two trips through the dungeon here. One to get the key item, and then one to... Whoa, don't fall. <laughs> yeah, one to get the key item, and one to uh, finish up the dungeon here. So yeah, this is the central chamber of the dungeon. We had to go around, though. You might notice that some of the doorways around here are blocked with ice. So, and we don't have hot spring water to help out. So, we're going to have to find another way of dealing with those. But first, let's go downstairs, the other stairs, around here. And let's see what we got around here. Let's see, we got some lava, some pots, but I'm already full on everything see over here well there's a deku flower but it's encased in ice so yeah not a whole lot we can do around here but let's see now with the lava you can actually walk on it as go on link without taking any damage so let's just go over here step on that switch to reveal another treasure by the way the street fairies in that second room there I'll show where they are in the Nintendo 64 version after this, just not right now. But, uh, yeah, they're in slightly different locations, but they are in the dungeon. They are in the same room. So, let's see. Okay, so go across here, and, well, there's only one door for us to take, so let's see what we can do here. Got some relatively smaller blocks, so we can just pull these out of the way. See, I want to pull it back four tiles. There we go. That ought to be good. Then, whoop. Ha-ha. 
let's see, that'll help us out at the beginning of the dungeon, eventually. But now, with these blocks, just keep on pushing it straight forward down the middle here to the other side. There's something over there that we're going to need these to, in order to reach, eventually. You'll know that you've reached it when it sinks into the ground a little bit. Like that! And reveals another treasure, but I can't get up there right now. I would, I think maybe a bomb jump could do it, but I hate bomb jumping, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so we got that. Let's uh, play the song of soaring. Go back to the entrance, if I can play the song correctly. There you go. So yeah, I just wanted to clear this out on this side, and then we'll find another way to get to the upper levels on that floor. But all right, we're done with that. All the white bows are back. Hmm, didn't get quite as many as last time there, but okay. Whatever works, we're full. So yeah, that ice block, we can't get through, but we can get through another locked door. Okay, what do we got coming up here? Are you gonna attack me? There you go. Nuts, the ice physics screwed up my timing. Haha, -ha, there you go. Okay, let's see. Well, in the middle of the room... We got another treasure. The compass. Let's see, I think there's another wolf else around here. Yep. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Okay, now around here, let's see, where is it? Yeah, there's a crate up there, but we can't quite reach it. Whatever shall we do? Well, let's uh, put our bomb or blast mask to use here, and I need to be standing up when I do this, so that way the explosion is high enough to reach the crate there, and then we can uh, get our stray fairy here, awesome, and yeah, we can blow that up to reveal the stairs to the next floor, uh, game, oh, yeah, I was like, where did my sword go, yeah, I was on the... The mask there a moment ago, but, uh, okay, I do want to go up those stairs there eventually. That'll lead to where I want to go, but I want to go back here. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't think everything would respawn like that. Game? There you go. Whew! Oh, hey, heart. Nice. And we're all at full. So let's see where those stray fairies would have been in the second room of the temple now instead, in the Nintendo 64 version. Okay, we're back in the Nintendo 64 version of the game, so let's get our spin attack going. Whoa! There you go. Well, fortunately, we got an item that can help us with that as soon as I get these things out of the way and recharge a little bit. And then we'll get over to the second room with the stray fairies there. Are you going to attack me? No? Okay, I'm out of here then. Oh, now you attack me. Okay, so let's see. You can see over here... Stray Fairy is down there in about the same location, but the other one up here isn't. Whatever shall we do? Well, first, let's get to the other side of this room. Haha! -ha. Okay, let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna need arrows and the Great Fairy's mask. So let's get that going. There we go. Let's see. Now, under this platform is one of them. Haha. -ha. Let's see. Over here. Let's see. Can I get there? Get a good shot? Haha. -ha! There we go. For some reason, that straight fairy seems much more difficult to hit from the other side of the room, like I did in the 3DS version. And since you gotta come here anyway, you might as well just wait until you get to this side. But, uh, yeah, that one below the platform's a little tricky. So, fortunately, you know, they moved it to be easier to find. But can we find the key item inside the Snowhead Temple? 
find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is the Chi Bailey signing off. Have a good day.